All right, let's get right into it. So Google has just unveiled a new way to train AI. And honestly, it's it's completely different from what we've seen before. We're talking about a potential breakthrough in how AI learns to reason. And yet it's kind of flying under the radar. And that's exactly what makes this so interesting, right? This isn't just some minor tweak or another update. This is a whole new hybrid approach. It's not really standard reinforcement learning, but it's not supervised fine tuning either. It's, it's something new. And it might just be the thing that unlocks truly autonomous AI agents. So what is it? Well, it's called Supervised Reinforcement Learning, or SRL for short. And the main idea here is it's actually incredibly smart. Instead of just giving the AI a thumbs up or thumbs down on its final answer to some complex problem, SRL gives the model a little reward for every single correct step it takes to get there. And you know, this focus on the journey, not just the destination, it is a total game changer. So let's dig into why rewarding the process itself is so, so revolutionary. I mean, think about it for a second. Most AI training is all about the final result. Did you get the answer right? Great, here's a reward. You got it wrong? Too bad, try again. SRL just completely flips that on its head by giving this constant stream of feedback, rewarding every little micro decision the model makes along the way. And here's where it gets really wild. This method has a huge impact on smaller, more efficient models. We're talking about a relatively small 7 billion parameter model that can learn to handle crazy complex stuff like advanced math or even agentic software engineering. And get this, it can do it without needing a perfect final answer for every single problem in its training data because it's learning the method, not just memorizing solutions. Okay, so to really get why SRL is such a big deal, we have to talk about the huge problem it solves. And that problem has a name, sparse rewards. Yeah, this chart just lays it out perfectly. The old way, using methods like RLHF, you get one single reward at the very, very end. That's what we mean by sparse. The analogy here is just spot on. It's like trying to teach someone how to code by only telling them if their final program works or not with zero feedback on the actual code they wrote. SRL, on the other hand, is like having a senior developer looking over your shoulder, giving you feedback on every single line. It's constant guidance. So if that's the big problem, how exactly does SRL work its magic? Well, it turns out to be a really elegant, four-step process that beautifully blends human expertise with the model's own ability to think. Okay, so first you start with a bunch of really high quality step-by-step -step solutions that were created by human experts. Then you take those solutions and you break them down into a sequence of logical actions. You know, like isolate the variable in a math problem. Now, here's the really cool part. The model then generates its own internal monologue, its own private chain of thoughts before it decides what to do. It's actually thinking for itself. And finally, it gets a reward based on how closely its chosen action matches what the human expert did at that exact same step. Right, so this is the absolute key. We're not just rewarding the final answer. We're not even micromanaging its entire chain of thought. No, what we are rewarding is the trajectory of its reasoning, the path it takes. That's the big idea here. So that's how it works. But why does this matter so much? This isn't just some interesting academic paper. This has huge implications for creating what everyone's been talking about, true agentic AI. See, for an AI to actually be autonomous, to act like a real agent that can handle complex multi-step tasks all by itself, it can't just be a glorified text predictor. It has to be able to plan. And that is exactly what makes SRL so special. It's designed from the ground up to train that internal planning and reasoning muscle. And when you train that muscle, you suddenly open the door to all kinds of applications we've really only dreamed about. AI agents that can write complex software, agents that can autonomously control a computer to get something done, or solve really tricky problems that take a whole bunch of steps. Now, what's interesting is that the researchers found that SRL is at its most powerful when you pair it with something else. The best results came from a combo. First, use SRL to build that deep step-by-step -step reasoning ability. Then you bring in another method called RLVR to really sharpen the accuracy of the final answer. It's a perfect partnership. This is honestly the best way to think about it. SRL is what gives the model's reasoning its fundamental shape and its logical structure. Then RLVR comes in at the end to fine tune everything and give that final answer pinpoint precision. It's like a one-two punch for creating these incredibly capable AI systems. So where does that leave us? 
What's the big takeaway from this quiet, but maybe incredibly important breakthrough? It really all boils down to this simple but profound change in thinking. For so long, the name of the game has been rewarding the ending, the final output. SRL says, no, stop that. Start rewarding the process, and you'll find that better endings will naturally follow. And when you stop and think about it, this is exactly how we humans learn anything complex, isn't it? A new coder learns by getting feedback line by line. A chess grandmaster gets great by studying entire sequences and openings, not just by looking at the final checkmate. We learn because we reward progress along the way, not just the final win. You know, this really feels like it could be a turning point. Maybe the race to build the best AI isn't going to be about who can build the biggest model and cram it with the most data anymore. Maybe, just maybe, it's about who can build a smarter model with a fundamentally better way of reasoning. And that leaves us with this big question to chew on. Is it going to be this focus on the quality of an AI's thinking, not just the sheer quantity of its knowledge, that finally unlocks that next level of intelligence we've all been waiting for? It's a shift in perspective that could really change everything.